Happy Thanksgiving guys. Today I am about to head this morning to go and pick up my dad from the airport. Run a little late, or should I say he's, uh, his flight's actually running a little early. A little bummed this morning. The whole plan was to pick him up in the twin turbo 370Z. This fits flames, AKA Z-Roy out of the hood. And uh, I broke it last night, like a typical out of move. So I'm picking him up in the Supra and I'm actually taking him back to the shop and I'm gonna give him a ride in my car from Formula Drift. He hasn't seen that car since it was like a bare shell. So even though it's kind of beat up right now, I think we'll have fun seeing the transformation. And going for a rip. Put my camera up. I want to see what you think of the Supra. I haven't floored it for you yet. <laughs> okay. I I know you like the exhaust sound, but get ready for my dialogue. Yeah. You got your lines rehearsed? <laughs> Am I gonna be on YouTube tonight or tomorrow? This is a Netflix show. Oh, this is a Netflix. Yeah, no, okay. so this will be on Netflix. So okay, cool. I haven't been on Netflix yet yeah, this year. It's a it's a day in the life of uh, me and my dad. Okay. Super edition. Tell me when we're live. Oh, we've been live. Okay. Yeah. That red that red light that's blinking. How you doing folks? Yeah. Just got to Florida. Trying to beat out a snowstorm after rush back, but riding in a Supra is much better than plowing snow. That's what I always say. <clears throat> How fast do you think this thing will be compared to, let's say, the Porsche? I don't know. I probably. Do you think it's as fast as my Prelude? Well, <laughs> Close. You're, you're pushing like 700 in that thing right now, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, 700 what? Yeah, good um, question. <laughs> no, what was the question? Is this as fast as what? The Porsche. What you you said it was faster. I did? Yeah. When that's I what, that? that's, I don't know. When I saw you last. Oh. Well, the red one was. I don't know what that's Um, like. I imagine it's pretty similar. You ready? Yep. Holy shit. Holy shit. I don't want to use language that will be, you know, uh, unprofessional. So I'll just say, holy shit, man, that was fast. It's pretty zippy. But my neck is okay. Is okay? I didn't realize that you haven't been to my warehouse. Nope. That's exciting. I don't know how long you've had it, but I haven't seen it, and I want to see it, and it looks like today's the day. I was getting all excited, trying to think of a cool car to give you a ride in and give you something to look forward to, but I, I could show you my warehouse that's filthy right now. <laughs> it's okay. I can overlook the filth. Filth, whatever. Welcome to the warehouse. Hey, where's your bathroom? So you haven't seen this place? No, where's your bathroom? That's all, I'm all you care about is my bathroom. You know, the thing that I'm giving you a ride in, I know you're looking all around at all this stuff. Yeah. This is that white car. The one from Injuku forever ago. Is this the one where I use the dry ice on? Yep. This is like as good as it gets for race car stuff. And that's the engine bay. You never do anything with V8s, do you? Not really. They're just kind of boring. That's the whole trunk setup. Oh my god. Yeah. So what are the fan blades for? That's the radiator. That's the radiator? Okay, yeah. the radiator is back here? Yeah, so uh, oh. it gives you a little bit more room in front. Um, more volume in the system, keep it a little cooler, and when you're drifting, you don't see airflow anyway, so you can fit bigger fans if you put it in back. Less chance of damaging your radiator, too? Correct. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know what that was. Now I see it's the radiator here. Yep. And then right here is all my fueling stuff. Is it street legal? What's up? This isn't street legal. Yeah. It is? Yeah. You got a plate on it. Live, folks. So oh, hope, tell, hope he does something else with the steering wheel, but... Tell them what you're expecting with this car. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to vomit or if I'm going to, what do you call it, get a headache or who knows what. But it's going to be exciting. I've never been in a, an automobile like this. Um, getting into the seat and all harnessed up was a project in itself. But it's going to be fast. Oh, I don't need to go too fast. I mean, since I already did, what, 138 in the Toyota? Something like that. We well, didn't go that fast. Here, here we go. Learn to drive this <laughs> you, you want me to drive, Adam? <laughs> 
They'll get the hang of it, folks. Just a little practice. So excited. So excited. Oh, I hope I don't vomit on Thanksgiving Day. Yuck. Ugh. Very, very strange. Lots of stuff, I don't know what it is. Maybe oxygen. Levers and buttons and wires and tubes. Big e-brakes. Steering shaft without a wheel. Here's the wheel. Yes, it's a little noisy. I'm try I hope you hear me. I am trying to talk loud. I'll put my glasses on so I'll look a little cooler. Like I know what I'm doing. Come on, Adam, let's get this buggy on the road. Don't make me vomit on Thanksgiving. You don't, you don't have a radio or a CD, do you, dear? Oh, uh, yeah, we do have a radio system, like a com. I got my video camera. What videos?
think so far? <laughs> a little noisy in transmission. It's pretty quick though, yeah? Like I said, it feels as fast as the Supra. Is it? Way faster. Way faster? Way lighter, way more power. does know how to drive I must admit <laughs> but it was a little scary actually it was a lot scary I uh, I was bummed that I couldn't take you in the 370z but I hope you had fun in this one I don't know if I would categorize it as fun but it was definitely uh, an experience that's what I'd use the word experience have you ever taken anybody that really flipped out when you drove like that so I don't really take this car out often yeah so like Especially during like Formula Drift season, the last thing I want to do is take it out on the street and then have it break or anything. Yeah. But no, I mean you're you're probably one of the first people to have a reaction. Whoa! It's fast, right? And you, <laughs> it was funny because I was half throttle before, and you're like, yeah, it almost feels as fast as a Supra. <laughs> all of a sudden, well, you were breaking loose all the time, and it probably has a straight axle in back, right? No, it doesn't have a really? straight axle, but these tires on the back are the tires we run in FD, and we have okay. a regulation, so we can only fit a two fifty five. If this car had the same tires as Supra, this thing would just be so fast. Yeah, I mean, I could feel the thing fishtailing around once oh, you yeah. really hit it. I mean, we were in so, fourth gear going sideways. I know. <laughs> believe, believe me, I know. <laughs> I was here. I witnessed it. And uh, okay, lunchtime if my stomach can handle it now. It's a pretty cool car, though, right? Like, yeah. even though it's all over the place, it's very, very planted and put together. You don't have a problem with any of the public reporting you or something? I mean, I'm sure it happens, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. You have to get pulled over and it'll happen eventually. Yeah, but uh, wow. It does have a license plate. Yeah, yeah. no, okay. it's registered and insured. Good. Good. Yeah. Okay, well, you need some AC, you need a radio with a CD, and you know, a few little luxuries and you'll be all yeah, set. Yeah, so, so believe it or not, this right here, this is kind of like AC, so we fill that tank with ice and there's yeah runs ice water through my shirt oh, okay. to keep me cool. cool. And then we've got a fresh air system, so there's this vent that plugs into my helmet and it pumps fresh air through my wow. helmet. Wow, this is, this is cool. Okay, moving right along. I just, I want to bring attention to the fact that you made it sound like you had an issue. The guy, he goes, I, I've got two issues, the Skyline has two issues. You want to... Well, folks, first of all, I did have a co-worker who was guiding me in, but she's from Venezuela, so I'm not sure that she was understanding the concept of getting the vehicle. No, she was good. I can't blame it on her. Um, you had me worried that something was wrong with the Skyline, and you're like, yeah, the, the first well, problem... Well, there is, there is. I no, didn't get into the but, second But you issue. were like, the first problem the Skyline's having, you, you, you see, I, I pulled it into the garage, and I... It's I, driver error. It yeah, is. I, I smashed the fender a little bit and cracked yeah. the bumper, but you said you buffed it out mostly. Folks, it is my fault. So okay, all right, but what's, what's the, the second The second problem? one, it was in the garage, finally. Okay. And start smelling. You know how you smell that gas and everything, and... You've got a water heater and a furnace down there. Heat. Something's going on. It's dripping out the gas tank where the seam is on the gas tank. It's dripping out there. Really? Yeah. Gas? Really, yeah. Never Fuel. heard of that happening. Fuel, really? Out of the seam? 
Yeah, well, I mean, gas tank is usually pressed where there's a seam flat spot in the middle. I'll look at it. And it, we didn't notice it, or I never noticed it before, because I don't think I ever filled the tank. I was always running half or below, so it wouldn't leak out there. It, it is you know possible. You know what I mean, guys? It is possible if the tank was like super, super full, like if you topped it, it off. three quarters. Huh. It shouldn't do that, but it is possible that it's actually leaking out a line and you're just seeing it dribble down. Because like for it to leak okay. from the seam in the gas tank would be crazy. Okay. I, again, I didn't go really thorough. I looked at it. I put a bucket and kept it outside for the moment. I couldn't, we'll have, gas, couldn't have gas fumes in the basement. Makes sense. So, so a lot of you guys have been kind of wondering why I haven't been driving the S15 much or why I haven't been drifting it. Believe it or not, we're pretty sure right now this car is a very small crack in the head. We had some cooling issues, if you guys remember us overheating on grid at, I think it was FD St. Louis. Um, obviously, it can still run and drive, but I don't want to tear it down until after the open house because I wanted to have this car running and everything for the open house. But the oil does get a little bit milky, so um, I just, you know, this obviously is something special to where I felt comfortable risking it, taking it out, and obviously keeping an eye on the coolant temps and everything. Um, but I haven't been drifting it or really like abusing it because I want to obviously keep it intact. So yeah, we had a we had a blown head gasket there. Yeah, it did feel a little sluggish. I noticed the head gasket. I was noticing somewhere as I don't know, 60 to 90, it felt a little sluggish. <laughs> So just kidding. right now this car how we drove it probably made around 720 horsepower. Can I go to the men's room? Yeah, okay goodbye. But Usually well not usually we we have had this car turned up to a thousand So that's like the slow mode right now. Oh my god. Yeah, but um the Achilles 123s are very very grippy probably the grippiest you can get for those uh, 255s, but I mean that car making that much power and being as light as, as it is really really needs like a 305 or like a 315 or like a proper like, drag tire to hook. This is the car that I really wanted to give you a ride in. Come look at this. Whoa. What do you think about that? Some hot rod stuff. So are these the actual exhaust here? Yeah. Oh my god. So these are the exhausts and then once it gets to a certain threshold of boost, these will open up and it'll spit flames out of all four. This, believe it or not, Dad, so this is pretty cool. This is a water to air intercooler. Yeah. So there's an ice tank in the back and it basically freezes this over. So we don't have that thing in the front like your car that cools yeah. the air. It's inside of this and it cools it with ice water. So we can simplify this piping. So rather than having this piping. Sim simple ice or dry ice? Just simple ice. So instead of having to have this piping go down and up through here, it's just right there. All right, so overall, how was your LZ warehouse experience? Uh, the, the car ride or the, well, obviously the warehouse, I did pretty good here today. Oh yeah, you went shopping. Sweatshirt, a hat, and sunglasses. I look like a cool dude. Yeah. Um, but the ride itself, and I don't know what I was riding in with an eight-point harness seatbelt that I had to wear, <laughs> <laughs> something like that. And, but I'm glad I didn't go in the car that shoots the flames up on the windshield. <laughs> that would have been more fun. We'll save that for next time. Maybe if you're still here, I know you might have to go in snow plow, but uh, uh, don't even talk about it. Yeah. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's always fun. Give my dad rides and stuff. So uh, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. I'll to say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye.